Hello back everyone! So, here we are, part 14. How about that? We're finished basically with the main cylinders, with the rim. Uh, we're probably gonna do some uh, small details, but that's gonna be like later on. Okay, so uh, no worries about that. Uh, basically, we're kind of done with the main bodies. However, we still have some ways to go because I don't want to have just the, you know, start of the train, like the face of the train. I kind of ha want to have at least uh, two wagons uh, and the main cabin because, you know, the uh, conductor has to be somewhere, right? So this is what this video will concentrate on, how to do the main cabin. Uh, and uh, we will uh, see some things working. Uh, I'm going to talk about mostly like, uh, you know, how to get, uh, which is the difference between, you know, editing just one body or uh, just having multiple bodies and then editing those uh, because there's a difference there. And also, uh, you know, we will just uh, see kind of how to model a little of a more complex thing even though what we did so far was pretty complex actually so uh yeah i'm really glad if you got any of this and uh, also i wanted to talk about one more thing and that was basically to thank all of you for uh 33 subscribers uh i can't believe i actually reached even 30 that to me was kind of a milestone so uh thank you so much for uh doing that uh and if you so so wish uh i would uh, love for you to you know join this channel so subscribe to this channel and uh, see more of such a content uh and also um you know give a like Leave a comment, and actually, I would love your opinion on one thing, and that is uh, background music. So, uh, in the last videos, if you, uh, you know, noticed, I did use background music for some of the parts, uh, mostly for what I consider to be a little bit of a funny thing, and uh, I wanted to actually ask you guys, uh, would you like for the whole video to have that? So, leave that in a comment and tell me. Uh, for now, this video will not have that, but uh, just let me know if you like that or if you want, you know, anything else. So, uh, that being said, uh, please let us uh, get to work and also let me just thank you so much again for uh, being here and uh, for, you know, uh, being part of this uh, channel's beginning. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Good, so what do we do now? We will do the main cabin. Yes, we're finally there. And uh, there are a few interesting models I've seen here. Uh, this is the one that kind of attracted my eye the most. Uh, there's also this one, which they are kind of similar, to be honest. Um, and there was also this. Now, this is a little way more fantasy-like, fairy tale ish uh, which I like, but uh, I don't know. I don't think it really goes with the vibe. At least, uh, I don't think so. So, um, we can really do this in a lot of ways, right? We could um, do something like uh, take the middle of this, right? And then easy. <laughs> Got it, because it's easy. Uh, you know, SZ on uh, SS0, SZX. And then, you know, just uh, play around with it. And uh, we could just uh, then add geometry and basically create it like this. This would work. This would be fine. This would be perfectly fine. But uh, I think it just is a little more complicated for what we need. Um, and uh, this is kind of what this video will really be about. Mostly it's going to be the, uh, when you need to have everything in the same geometry and model it or when do you exactly say okay i don't need that um it is a little more convenient sometimes right but when it something like this just make separate bodies it just makes so much more sense and it's way easier to model uh it will have less geometry uh than you know if you do it like you know extruding all the time and 
adding uh, support edges and stuff. It just, it's not worth it. Okay, having this, what do you think we'll use? Yes, you're right, shear. We'll use the shear modifier. It should be Blanda's default, right? This is what I love about Blanda. Okay, something like that. Yeah, that should work. And uh, we'll just get this up here. And you'll see in just a second why I did that. But for now, I'm trying to have it. Now, this is a pretty good reference uh, also. Like, we could take that in consideration. But I would like my main cabin to be a little more above than it is here, than our cylinders, right? Uh, I think it just looks uh, better like that. And uh, so, we're going to just go like this, right? Like, a little more. Make it a little more uh, intimidating, in a way. So, actually, let's get it up here. And I press H instead of G, which I did mention it's one of my problems. Actually, let's leave it. Let's leave this like that. Mm. Yeah, no, it's it's okay. And this, and actually, S set X. S, so uh, X zero, sorry. Uh, okay, good. Having this. Now, let's actually look at the model. And uh, S, S and Y, and let's make this a little uh, bigger like that. And uh, yeah, here, just compare it with your reference. See what we have, see what they have, and uh, what else shall we need? I'm going to probably, let me see. Well, first, I'm going to apply the scale. Secondly, I'm going to use the auto meter modifier to get, you know, an easier uh, model to work with. Because, again, we don't have to work twice if there's no need for that. Uh, okay, and let's scale it actually a little more on the y-axis. Just a tiny little bit more. It doesn't have to be too exaggerated. But I think this, this does it, does the job pretty well. Good. So now, yeah, uh, oh, yeah, wait, see, tricked. Uh, you know, activate your X-ray and then do this and then GNX here. Uh, maybe GNX even, uh, no, here not. Let's put another small geometry in there to do this. This is good. This is much better. All right, uh, and uh, there are a few things we have to do. This one has to... Uh, did I press H again? I did. Great. Uh, Gen X to actually intersect the bodies. This looks so nice already. And it's not even done. Um, okay, this is nice. Now, again, a thing we, uh, we just mentioned. We could have the rooftop part of this. This uh, We're not going to do the rooftop like this one, by the way. We're going to go a little more um, kind of like this. Like uh, a little, you know, thicker and a little, uh, you know, on the outside of it. But uh, what I was mentioning is I could do this again super easy just by, uh, you know, coming here, extrude this. Uh, and then just uh, basically select this, yes, and we could do this. This is fine. This is acceptable. But again, same uh, same thing like earlier. Why should I do this? This is going to create me more geometry. It's going to also be a little more of a headache, uh, even when texturing, really. So uh, try to, you know, all the time when you do stuff like this, try to think a little bit ahead. Like, will this really be helpful? Does this actually make sense to have it this way? Because if no, then don't. Just do it easier. You know, you don't have to work harder. You just have to to make it work properly. So let's uh, add a subdivision mod. Actually, uh, no. We'll first do the shape and then apply the subdivision modifier. 
And uh, this is the reason uh, that I was talking a little earlier, actually, about. Uh, because if we're going to do the subdivision surface, right, we will need to do the support edges and all that uh, thing, which in theory is not hard to work with. But in practice, as you've seen, uh, it does add up to a lot of geometry, really. So uh, uh, I think here we'll do that uh, ladder that we talked about a little earlier, because I think it just uh, would fit. Um, it will be kind of a small ladder, though. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm going to be honest. Maybe we're making this a little uh, wider here or something. I'm just trying to think. Like, uh, yeah, this is kind of what happens a lot of times. Uh, what I model. Uh, I don't know if everyone has this problem. Uh, I personally don't consider it a problem. It's just that, uh, you know, sometimes uh, you just remember, hey, uh, I could be doing, okay, not doing that. Um, you just realize, hey, I can do this, this way. And uh, it would make my, uh, you know, uh, object look really good. Why shouldn't I? And, you know, sometimes there are reasons why you shouldn't, definitely. Um, but sometimes it's just, yeah, you should totally go ahead and do it. Uh, actually, I don't like it. And the reason I don't like it is because it's not really going natural with it. So let's hide this. Activate the proportional editing and uh, put it on smooth. G and Y. And let's try to only move this. I don't uh, need the others to be moved. Those uh, are not uh, necessities here. And let's see how this looks. What do we think? Hmm? Leave it in a comment. Do you think this is better or this is worse? Because I personally uh, think that I don't really like it. <laughs> um, this just moves way too aggressive here. And it might be because of the... You know, we should have moved a little more so that the transition is not necessarily as big. Maybe not even that much. Like some like there could do a little better. Hmm? Maybe. Actually, not not too bad. Um. So yeah, you guys leave it in the comments. What do you What do you think? Should we do this? Should we not be doing this? Uh, I'll be totally honest with you, I think I like it a little bit, but also I'm a little bit, uh, I don't know. Uh, I have devised opinions, okay? It's just, uh, not devised, sorry, divided opinions. I have something with this. I made the same mistake uh, yesterday as well. For some reason, I just uh, apparently want to say just devised. Divide and conquer, ain't it? Uh, let's chin Y this a little bit. Actually, no. We could just uh, also shift select this. And now we can not hide it, but chin Y it. Just like this. And uh, as you can see, these ones stood here. And that was not something I really wanted. And... We can just select these and GNY them. Perfect. You know, this will look a little better now because it just does. And uh, yeah, actually, I like it. I, I think this is much better. The letter will make much more sense now. Um, and uh, yeah, this, this now has to also be bigger. Now, let me show you a little trick here. So. Uh, if you have these uh, fixations, support, uh, whatever, uh, select them. Then shift click select on the cylinder, control P, and we will parent them. So these will always move now when we move the cylinder. But also when we do scale the cylinder, we also scale uh, the fixations. And that's super useful, especially really when we animate. Uh, when you will animate, you will use a lot of these. And actually, even in this uh, course, 
again I'm not uh, gonna go so insane when it goes to animation it's gonna be a very simple little thing because I want I want you guys just to get the basics of it but uh, we will use this and also this has to be like this right so kind of here should do I think this is much better okay I like it Perfect. Good. So, um, coming back to this, uh, let's edit the shape, right? So, uh, first of all, what well, we all can see is the door. We need a door for our conductor to be able to go in. And I actually like this idea a little more, right? To just have the door have like its own, um, you know, um, uh, shape, shall I call it? I'll select all of it. S, X, 0, and we'll just, you know, make it be on uh, the exact same position of the axis. So this is pretty good. Now let's bevel it and uh, basically create the shape for our uh, beautiful door right here. I think uh, this should be good. I'm trying to think like what exactly we will do because I probably will like a little stair here as well, you know. Uh, for him to be able to uh, get on on uh, the train. <clears throat> so, uh, we will actually probably extrude all this part right here. Something like this should do. I think it's more than enough. And now uh, activating the X-ray, select uh, these vertices and GNZ right there. And this is, okay, this is pretty cool. And again, we could have done the door separately. Do I think that would have been smarter? Maybe. Uh, but this is really to be kind of an example. I'm going to show you what will happen when we'll subdivide this with the door. And what will happen when we'll uh, do the rooftop separately. And because the rooftop will be separate, we will not be seeing this, which means we kiss uh, these faces, goodbye, and we just go. And uh, we also have this right here, right? This um, door on the other side, which is actually not a problem. But uh, just uh, remember, if you want to not have uh, the same detail on both sides, first apply the uh, mirror modifier and then uh, go on with your, um, you know, detail creation. So. Having this, what else shall we need? Because uh, I don't think that's enough, right? Um, really, I can't see though anything that I can put right now. Like we can just, uh, you know, take care of this. Control two to add a subdivision modifier with two levels, and uh, let's create the shape the way we want it. And uh, take very good care right around these uh, edges because uh, as uh, we've seen when we did the lower part of our train, uh, the subdivision surface can make uh, some overlapped um, uh, vertices. And we definitely don't want that one because um, that if, well, it's not really a big problem if we notice it, but if we don't, as uh, you've seen when uh, it almost happened to me, uh, it's not fun. It's uh, genuinely a big headache and uh, it can ruin a whole model. And actually, another story. <laughs> I'm full of stories today, and I? Um, basically, that actually really happened to me, right? Uh, I uh, did, I think it was a drawer. Uh, I'm gonna probably uh, put an image with it uh, kind of around here. Uh, I'm, I'm saying like kind of around here. Uh, so uh, that was... Um, I kind of got mad honestly at that point because it was such a unnecessary uh, mistake. It was such a stupid mistake I made. And uh, really, all of it just because I forgot to uh, check the geometry. And as I said, not fun, 
really, really not fun. Having this, what shall we do here? Because I want kind of the roof of the door, because the door seems to have some kind of a roof. And uh, probably I'm going to actually just make that separately. Because to do this, um, well, actually, I could be taking this, extrude it, and then, you know, just play around ge geometry. But that will take a long time. And it would also not be too fun uh, to do. Uh, so, yeah, it wouldn't totally make sense to do it. Uh, just as I said, uh, sometimes you just have to do it the easier way. This would just complicate. Like, uh, even uh, this I could do, right? But it's so unnecessary and so not okay. So no, we won't do that. So the rooftop for the door comes separately as well. And um, I mean, really, this is kind of what we need. Uh, maybe we could do one more uh, bevel, kind of like this. I think it's okay. And uh, one like this. Yeah, let's move it kind of up here. And, uh, you know, select these faces here. Or maybe actually just these. Uh, not take that one into consideration. And just a tiny little bit. And this is uh, the door. This is the main door, right? So, um, yeah. So, again, this is okay if you choose to do it like this, it works. And it's genuinely okay doing it. But I don't think it's uh, really a, a good idea because it just adds a lot of geometry. It's just um, unnecessarily a lot of work to do. And I mean, really, why would you? It just uh, complicates stuff way too much. Now, taking this, right, let us add a boolean modifier with a fast. And let's first try this. I don't know really if it worked, and it didn't, because it, they don't intersect yet. So uh, that is why we're going to intersect them, and they still don't work. Okay, that is something. They definitely do intersect now. So, where's my hole? Okay, apparently it's not going with the... Uh, did I apply everything? I did not. Oof. But apparently it's not that. That's uh, not its problem. Really, the problem is just, uh, you know, set it on the exact and apparently it works. Don't set it on the exact and uh, it's uh, not gonna work. And this is something I didn't ever try before. So let's uh, duplicate this. And it's going to ruin everything, but we don't care because just delete the main cylinder from here and uh, choose the rim. Which, again, if we uh, hide, uh, not this, but the rim. You know, it should be working and yet it doesn't. Okay, so having the doors done, um, we move to the uh you know just uh making the cutout for these bodies uh so i added a boolean uh for the main cylinder right here and uh if i go too fast it's just not working uh for some reason so i went to the exact so that it helps it might be because it's not uh intersected a lot but i can do more because of this cylinder um i mean i could extrude uh, everything more but that's unnecessary if this works and uh, uh, I also tried to uh, use the boolean for the rim, but for some reason it's not working at all. doesn't matter what I do, it just doesn't cut. It just like may, uh, creates a union. Uh, even like, so I selected the difference, it's not working, nothing works. So what I did do is, uh, you know, create a small cube, uh, basically uh, recreated the shape of the rim right here. And now uh, I beveled it a little bit. And now, as you can see, right here should be pretty visible. There's a small gap. There's a distance because of that. But actually, what I'm going to do is actually leave this here because I like how it looks. I didn't think of it. 
I just did it and uh, now I'll be totally honest with you all, I like it. So it's here to stay. So let's mirror it by uh, the cylinder here and we're all good. Great. So uh, this is what it, it's going to look like inside. We don't really care about that right now at least. Uh, we're going to be okay. All right. So uh, having this, we will have to move on to uh, our lovely um, rooftop. Right. So let's uh, shift S. And actually, we could just select all this and then shift S and it's going to kind of be up here. It's not going to be in the center, unfortunately, but uh, this will do. It's not important. So um, let's actually start out with a plane. And, you know, we'll scale it down a little. G and Y to move it around. S and Y to scale it a little bit. And here is kind of like, again, having to decide how we would like it to look like. And uh, I do like the, um, you know, uh, curved rooftops for these kind of trains. Uh, so the one in Polar Express has it. And this one uh, seems to have it a little. This one in our background has it. This one also has it. And the most important one, the Hogar's train has it. The... Magical Train has it. I'm pretty sure we have to also have it. So, uh, saying so many haves and has and had, uh, let's do this. The way we do it, very simple. We will proportional edit it. It's the easiest way to do it. So let's press three to see it. You know, from the back of the train, basically. Uh, X-ray on. Select the middle one, and then just I think. Uh, the inverse square should do the best here. You see, it's actually doing. So, somewhere around here. It's a little uh, more, in my opinion, exaggerated than the others. And actually, let me just uh, see this. So, GNY, uh, not with the proportional, just GNY and... All oh, right, it's clipping. So. Gen Y, and let's just try to have this kind of in the middle here. Uh, I think, yeah, well, almost there. That's perfect. Good. And having this, we can do two things. All right. We can either, you know, put this down, and uh, we will have to also, uh, you know, do kind of the same thing here. So this will have to be modeled accordingly. It cannot be like this. Uh, and actually, I want to check something out. If we have any shading issues because of our Boolean, but no, we're good. Uh, also, we're good there. We're good. We're good. We're good. This is what I like to hear. There we are. Very good. So having this, actually, let me put um, subdivision, uh, not subdivision but a solidify modifier to our plane. The reason for it is because being a plane means we won't see anything uh, when we go from like the back. So it would help out a little bit to see it because uh, I mean, it's pretty obvious why it would help. So X-ray, let's hide everything that's down here. We don't need it. We don't need it to be modified. Just the, the upper part for the rooftop. A roof, a rooftop. Jesus, I scramble that more than the eggs. So, just, you know, up, up in the air. Something like that should be okay, more or less. Because this here is going to be uh, not, not great, but we already know how to solve this, don't we? Well, first, let's just at this. And uh, I'll explain why in just one second. Uh, and now SZ0 should be more than okay. Let's go 3 to see what we have. So take all of it and let's just move it a little bit in the air. Select all that and all this like this. This is 
this is quite calming really an old age to see everything again and look how beautiful that looks i i really i really love it uh, i think it looks really good so uh, what we will do is maybe just a little bit scale it on the z because i think it's a little too much uh and maybe just maybe x-ray on and let's add an edge here so that we are going to be able to just model this in piece and GNX something around there you know to just have it a little bit like not just um, you know just simply staying there it will be a little downwards it will have its own uh, its own thing. I like it. Good. Having this done, uh, let's shade auto smooth it. Having this done, it's very simple. What we'll do, uh, we will play actually with the thickness a little bit. I think uh, is this having the scale? Yes, it does. So somewhere around maybe here. I think uh, zero point zero two does it. Does the job. And because. We do love symmetry on all uh, sides. Let's just create. Uh, actually, I don't think this loop will help now because I created this. So you know what? Uh, Gen X first with this a little bit. Somewhere around there. Create this loop. Gen Z. Gen X. And just play around. There we are our superb rooftop so let's actually call it our rooftop that's nice and now ladies and gentlemen uh, we shall have um, well let's apply the modifier let's apply the subdivision and uh, we will put another modifier in uh, to just have uh, you know the body and to be able to work with it uh, but uh, actually let's first create some small details right because we need those so uh, let's look at some rooftops here so first we can see that they have well some screws and stuff but they also have some like uh, I don't know what to call those like some uh, rims of some sort Probably some uh, ribs that are supposed to like increase resistance, I guess. I am not too sure about what they are, but I know they are there. And also, I saw one more thing. Uh, you know, control bevel this just slightly. Well, I said slightly and, you know, went crazy with it. And just with this. And actually, they are not. Am I crazy? No, I'm not crazy. They're not the, uh, you know, equal on the X, which means, what shall we use? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you know it, and uh, I'm sure as hell I cannot select this. What's wrong with me? Jesus, I, I still did not select it, did I? Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Uh, oh no, actually, wait, Alt, uh, SX, um, SX0 for this, um, SX0 for that. Uh, the reason I uh, got a little bit, uh, well, you know, I got a little bit um, confused there for a second. It's because I was about to SX0 both of those edges at, uh, at once. And if you do that, uh, it's not going to straighten them each. It's going to put both edges on the exact same X position. Which, what does that mean? It means it's going to overlap geometry we do not want that we want anything but that so no the answer is no 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 and having this uh let's actually add a little a little uh, more uh, geometry because uh yeah nice uh i just saw it in uh, one of the i i saw it in uh, this reference i think you know this uh, rim again and I liked it you know I was like yeah I, I dig it but 
I don't uh, like it like this. Um, so yeah, I know it's a little frustrating that I keep going back and forth, but I think it's important, you know, uh, kind of have this, um, you know, uh, really nice. I want you guys to have at the end of this tutorial a really cool 3D model uh, that, well, you can either use in some of your animations or you, you know, might not use, uh, but you can just, uh, you know, go around with it, say, hey, I have a cool train, uh, 3D train. What do you have? They probably will say a oh, Lamborghini and they are the top G and whatever. Who cares about that, huh? No one. No one really. But if you have a 3D train, now let me tell you that. You are gonna be the, the cool guy in your group. Or girl. Or girls. Or I don't know what that, that was there. Good. Alright, so. Now we have this room here. I think it's only fair to have one on this side. And um, I will actually most probably just speed this up a little bit because, again, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's just uh, a very important, a very, you know, just a detail really. It's just here to be. And I made a mistake. A mistake that I'm going to talk to you guys right away about. Or did I? I did, yeah. Uh, I should have selected it to be up till, I think, there? Yeah, I think that's the one. The reason for it, because uh, you might wonder, why, why would I do that? Well, really, it's because uh, this basically will ensure that the edges I created for this one are also helping this one right here. Otherwise, first of all, it would have been a little shorter. Second of all, um, why not, right? Uh, you would have to add basically uh, some more geometry if you wouldn't do that. And uh, that's just not uh, smart. So we need it to be, uh, let's GNY, uh, kind of on the same level with this more or less here. If you can see it, it's good because that means it's exactly what it has to be. Um, or you probably press hide and you didn't realize that, which uh, we know I do. So, you know, take care. Um, right, so what I was saying is, uh, you know, in the beginning when I said that this is not the best, in my opinion, not the best thing to do when it comes to this. Now, these rims, for example, these example, these uh, details right here, I think these are okay to do on the geometry like we just did, but the door, the rooftop, uh, no, let's don't do that. And again, it's just simpler to model them separately. I think it's way smarter to do that because it's also more optimized. Uh, and honestly, I just don't see why you would do it differently. Um, I, I did do this differently. This is why I'm saying it. I know exactly how uh, much, uh, you know, how much problems can be created by just working on the exact same body. It doesn't help with absolutely anything. So let's not. Now, we won't use any of these. And I mean any of those. Uh, so, before we do this actually, no, actually we can delete the faces. Uh, that's fine. Go into edge select mode and select just this edge. Yeah, that should be good there. And what we shall do, because this here, as you can see, it's uh, empty and it should let us, but it doesn't let us, how about that? Okay, let's take all this. Wait. Is there a... No, it's not. Sorry. I thought it's an overlapping. Because look, if I do this... What's going on there? 
Is this a bug? Because that's not selected. At least it doesn't look to be selected. It's oh because. Wait what? Oh, it's in that loop. Okay. So wait, that does move it. Well, there it is. So it works. Okay, having this. Uh, what shall we do now? Um. Well, uh, uh Control R, and let's create. Four. Four of these, then bevel them just like that. And what we need to do is, you know, now we do select this. So uh, shift left control and then control left click until the edge you want. And keep doing that until you've selected all these four uh, set of faces. And now E and uh, let's do it on their normals because this is what we need and uh, this looks pretty good and actually let me just pull them down a little bit because we don't need them to be so uh, up in here um, and let me try to see how bevel would work on this one I don't think it's going to work perfectly and probably not too good at all if I'm uh, gonna be extremely honest and uh, it doesn't look that bad per se but I don't like it <laughs> so you know it's not that bad but it's not too good either uh, let's try to select these two bevel them separately with uh, some more edges to just make it a little more rounded and it does not look bad but I still think a subdivision surface would do much better what do you guys think Uh, we have to undo this because we modified the geometry and now control 2 and you know again I'm gonna speed up this process because I think it takes way too long and I don't see a reason to do so Okay, there we are. Uh, this is done. So uh, let's actually select the adaptive subdivision and look at this. Now, this, this looks way more like a train to me. Um, so, this being said, let us think what else can we really do, right? So, um, I think what we shall do is the roofs up here because we didn't do that. So select this face, uh, control, uh, shift S, sorry, cursor to selected. And um, let's come with another plane here. Scale it way down to see it. And uh, with three, let's rotate it on the X so that it's more or less parallel with our, um, with our door, right? Uh, then, G and Y and G and Z. This this around here should work. And now SX for it to be like this. And maybe G and everything but and uh, no, actually GY just to make sure we keep it keep it good. And GX GZ. And um Make sure this actually stays on uh, on this on the rooftop without you know, clipping through it. So we're going to actually make it clip all the way through. And the reason for it is because it's probably not perfectly parallel. And uh, to do that, we'll just do something like this. So I, it's G and uh, press uh, Z uh, twice to be able to move it on its own normal. Uh, let's rotate it a little more on the X like that and that's perfect that's amazing actually okay uh, going to uh, the edit mode so, uh, in the, the versus select and we need it to be something like this right 
and uh, G Y Y and then this will also allow us to uh, model it way easier and I think and I think I don't like what I see <laughs> um, hmm, this will not help it seemed to help a little but not as much as I hoped but it doesn't really matter wait actually because we're going to of course uh, bring out our trusted solidify modifier and now one and also apply the scale because we did not and uh, I mean now it doesn't even matter what's there does it now great but what shall we do because I don't like how this one looks uh, and what I mean by that is I mean I think we can do better than just leaving a square thing don't you think so Something like this, select this bar and now hide this because I don't need that to change anything. And um, you know, uh, the inverse square root actually will work. And on the Y, should we uh, do something maybe like this? Alt H, see what this looks like. And I think it looks lovely. Does it? Not really. <laughs> because it's just uh, up here. Uh, but let me try to just, you know, um, do another trusty little option, which is, well, undo the proportional editing and then S, Z, 0. And they are actually on the same um, as that which probably is actually the problem, ain't it? Because it stays on the Z. Yeah, no, I don't like it. No, 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 no. Not at all. So, what shall we do? Selecting just this, actually. G, Y. And then Z. I mean, this looks better, but we also need this to go back a little. Now, this this is what I'm talking about. This is uh, this is the one. Okay, that's pretty nice. Um, let's actually save and apply the solidify modifier. Right. So, um, having this. Uh, basic shape of the rooftop done. Uh, we can also, you know, make some small details for this. But, uh, you know, don't go too crazy on this one because it's not going to be too visible. Um, and that's a good thing that actually you should, uh, you know, think about. How visible will uh, the object you're working on will be? Because, um, you know, you could spend a lot of time to create something and just you know a very small uh, part of it will actually show so don't waste your time too much with it I don't think it's worth it um, so let's create something of this sort right three uh, to select the faces and then left click with control to select all this E and Z. No, actually, let's uh, put them under normal. I think that looked a little better. Hmm. I don't know. It doesn't really look that good. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, trial and error. Uh, do this and that and uh, see what sticks, do what doesn't. Um, I'm trying to think, what shall we do? Let's actually then bevel this, right? Because this works. And uh, bevel also this, kind of about the same. And select this and select that. E. And have this like up there. But before we do that, actually, S, Y, Y, 0, so that it's you know, a straight line, 
<clears throat> Control B to bevel it. Something around there should do. And uh, let's also do what? Uh, no, let's select actually all of this. And shift left click to select everything here. And uh, sorry, I press rotate by mistake. E and extrude. And uh, this will create a very small little um, H uh, thingy. And actually, let's see how it looks if we select the entire thing. Is this better? Doesn't look that much better, but I, I do dig it. I do think it's okay. And uh, let's see. If we give it a bevel. Will it look good? Will it look bad? Will it look like it should? Okay. Uh, coming back to it. So, 7 millimeters, I don't know. 3 millimeters. How will that do for you? And it's not looking bad, but it's not looking too good either. So, uh, there's that. There's that for you guys. Adaptive and sound like that. Sound like that should be good. And this is the good, good thing with good topology. The loops are just gonna go by themselves, basically. So, um, take care of good topology, honestly. But uh, there's also um, something that a lot of people, especially in the beginning, will do. Uh, they hear this, so they hear the, oh, take care of good topology. Good topology is so good. And they just concern themselves so much with uh, good topology that they actually kind of forget about, well, everything else. And um, so don't get me wrong, good topology is important indeed. However, um, sometimes you can, you know, just well, not necessarily forget about it, but you can move also without good topology. So you can move forward in your project without having the best topology in the world. And actually, if you look, there's a famous uh, scene in, um, what was it, Invincible, I think? Uh, the Invincibles. I think the first, the first one uh, from The Invincibles. Um, and uh, it was something like, I think it was the mother. Uh, and uh, there's this scene where they show how they created the characters and all this. So it's uh, how how we made this kind of uh, video. And uh, they showed the topology. And uh, her face had, um, I don't know, in one part, like a lot of triangles. And there were so many people just criticizing uh, Pixar, basically, for it. And everyone was like, you saw the movie. You enjoyed the movie. Just because you found this out, it's not like the movie is not good. You would not have said anything if they would not have said that, you know, that apology is not there. And just for uh, basically what this uh, should, you know, tell you, even, you know, the experts, because I mean, the Pixar guys are amazing, right? So if those guys, uh, you know, are okay with not having perfect topology all the time. I think we are in the clear as well. I think we should be okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, we shouldn't be scared of, you know, from time to time having, like, you know, not the greatest topology. Now, this doesn't mean, you know, leave it, uh, you know, leave it alone or uh, don't take care of that whatsoever. No, because uh, it is important. And uh, it definitely helps to, you know, make stuff easier for us. But all I'm saying is, you know, don't concentrate so much on uh, stuff like that. Which, to be honest, uh, you know, could rather uh, take so much of your time that it hinder, uh, it's, uh, uh, 
damaging, sorry. Uh, it uh, rather damages your project because uh, when you create a project, you have to think of the time, right? So uh, that's why big projects have, uh, you know, allocated uh, budget and they have, uh, uh, you know, uh, time, uh, time sheet where uh, they have to uh, basically uh, finish the project in a certain amount of time, they have to make certain things in a certain amount of time as well, and so on and so forth. That's why those things are there, because it will impact the whole project if they don't. And, um, you know, getting stuck on one thing, it's just not helpful. Even if it, you might get the most perfect thing ever, if you get it too late, it might not matter. Or, you know, uh, uh, let's create a stair. So, uh, sorry for blabbing so much. So, um, so we create the stair by just, you know, making a, a cube, uh, scaling it to look like a little stair, uh, stairway, staircase, stair something, right? Am I right? Um, steps. Uh, let's create them and, um, right. So after we uh, created this, right, we have the array modifier to basically just see how many we will put, how we shall arrange them, because, for example, I could uh, move them a little bit more on the z-axis, just like so, and a little bit like this on the z, and I think it looks pretty good. Right, but the train ones, at least from what I know, they are usually a little more distanced, uh, from each other, some something like this, I would say, right? And uh, no, uh, may, let's make it like this. Maybe four of them should should do. And uh, let's call it um, uh, there because the other one is gonna be ladder, so it's fine. Okay. And now we, we do have the stair right here. Uh, we're not going to do anything too crazy uh, about it. We're just going to actually take it up here uh, and bevel it. Don't need it to be subdivi subdivisioned because, uh, subdivided, sorry, because there's no reason for it, really. There you are, uh, shade out smooth, and uh, I think it looks great. Perfect, but what do we have? Uh, you know, when you have a stair like this, you can't just have the stair itself. It's not really working that way. So uh, what happens is we will be having some, uh, you know, bars to be able to hold your hand. Um, so let's create them. Um, let's actually make a loop right here and then uh, shift S, cursor to select it. And now Create a cylinder. Let's scale it way down. Make it very thin, something like that. And uh, GS, GNZ to put it up. And uh, it doesn't have to be necessarily that big of a bar, right? But just a little uh, taller than that could do. Something of this sort, maybe actually something like this, rather. Okay, I think that's good. And kind of about like this, good. And what do you think we will do it now? Well, scale, uh, apply the scale. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we will have an array modifier. What did you think? So, set the X to zero, uh, the Y, uh, well really we'll have to see. But I think some like this. It's not going to be the same number as the stair. And again, it's because of the dimensioning of them. That's usually how this goes. So um, minus 8.2. Let's. Well, I said minus 8.2 and didn't do that. Yeah, I think that's good. And here, let's put a minus 1.5. That's uh, actually good. Super. And now, just 
do it two more times and that looks incredible. Uh, also, let's add a mirror modifier right like this on the X, that's good, and by the stators. So we have an actual symmetry there. That's perfect. So, with this being done and said, of course, um, let's actually apply. Uh, this time, I don't think we can get rid of anything. It's gonna be a subdivision, and we have to put it. Uh, let's put it actually in the second. Or no, it can be the first. It doesn't really matter because this time it's not like it's going to affect our geometry. Besides the subdivision, that's the only one, and we don't actually have to add anything. Uh, well. Not on the noun part, anyway. Uh, because we can delete, uh, not the edges, sorry, just the faces. And uh, it's going to work there. Here, up, though, it's, um, well, you know, there's no other way than actually taking it. So actually creating a loop and uh, taking it up here. And uh, also, actually, no, wait, I think we can do it without. Can't we? Just inserting this face? Oh no, it's not gonna work. Because it's uh, still gonna... Right, it's still gonna play with that shape. So this this does work. This is good. And now, uh, you know, we'll need another bar to be up here. But for that, we will actually use a curve. And um, I will explain why in just a second. Let me just select a Bezier curve right here. So, A x delete all the vertices because we don't need them and now control right click so that we have it and control right click till here so we have a straight line and curve uh, select this and make it an aligned don't forget it's with v so select the vertex uh the handle sorry i remember it now and a v and just uh you know create it uh, also, let's go to the uh, the data of the curve and give it a depth so we can see it. Something around there, maybe. And fill the caps. Now select this handle and G, Y, uh, Y, no. This is not going to work like this. Perfect. It's going to work like this, so I'm still... So fun with that. Something like this, and just get it down. Good. And the reason we wanted this, right? <clears throat> it's actually because, well, uh, let's scale this down. Extrude it. Scale this handle down as well. And, and this is really the reason, like the only <laughs> real reason I wanted this. Uh, not on the X, sorry, on the Y. Um, something like this. And it's also gonna need a little bit of a Gen X. Kind of like this. Um, yeah, because, as you can see, it's easier to play around with it, right? It's just so easy to have it. And now G and Z, like something around there and this has to be scaled down and if I do this it's not gonna help me too much is it no because this has to go down oh and everything but set and I'm just trying to figure out how I want this That there should do, and actually let's get it up just a tiny little bit. And there it is. We now have this beautiful curve. And because of course we want it to, uh, oh, not E, sorry. G and a Y to do this, and then G and Z to do this. 
But as you can see, we'll have a problem here. Because now, if I put it like this, this is not perfect. So change that on this uh, part of the handle here and control tree to see it. It looks good now. That's good, but it's not good here. So we'll actually have a small problem, but that's okay because we can handle that. So let's move it on everything but the uh, X and uh, basically this will give us more control with this part, uh, with this handle right here. Uh, and it just make it see, it makes it look good. And gen Y again to intersect because we did everything but forget forgot to uh, actually intersect the thing. Okay, and there's something I didn't realize. Which, uh, my bad, I should have thought about. So the stair should be a little bigger like that. And this should move more or less like this so that it's intersecting this part of the cabin rather than the, uh, you know, um, the actual door because it wouldn't make any sense. What what will you do? Uh, open the door and then hope that this will stick there. Uh, it's not working like that. And uh, apply the scale for everything. Perfect. And now we'll just add a mirror modifier uh, on this X actually, that's good. And by this there. And look at this. Look at how beautiful our train looks now. And it has a main cabin which has a stair, which has uh, a door, which has a rooftop, which has uh, a lot of detail, and uh, which has a lot of good stuff about it, which uh, I love it. I think that's amazing. And uh, so uh, after all, apparently we will have to have another video. Um, so there's that. But I just promise you, next video is gonna be also the last one for modeling so that's good um right so what should we do right right is um let us get to to this stair here but i'm trying to think how we do it because we also need a small little um door uh, not door, sorry, window. But I can put the windows like one over here, one here probably. And we'll put one here as well. So we have like four of them. I think that that will work. And uh, we'll just have the stair right here. I think they will work. So to do that, the windows uh, we will do in the next video. Because we will create the next wagon first. And then do the windows. Because I will show you how I'll do them. Uh, and I will show you another add-on. That is in Blender, it comes with Blender, no download necessary, so uh, there's that. So, uh, let's make this uh, stair. So, uh, before we do anything, right, let me select this, should do, no, this, okay. So, Shift S, let's get a cursor there, and now uh, let's uh, have a cylinder, uh, not uh, I think it was a icosphere. No, a cylinder. Good. And let it have 16 vertices rather. And make it thin like that. Thinner actually. And RX90. Perfect. SY and make it very small. This has to be uh, pretty thin and small stair, or ladder, actually. So, something like this. And now, S, uh, Shift Y, and make it even a little thinner. Something like that should do. Okay, and now uh, let's auto mode it first. And uh, really the first thing we need to do is I just uh, thought of a way to do this a little more interesting because we could follow this exact pattern 
But I'm thinking, like, would that even make sense? Because it wouldn't, would it? Uh, no, it would not. So, what shall we do is gonna be this. We'll just apply an array modifier for this one. Okay, uh, uh, we'll put 0 on x, and on z we'll put, uh, oh yeah, wait, we changed everything and we did not apply the rotation. So, apply the scale and apply the rotation. Now, when I put the 1, it should go, yeah, the right direction. So, let's put it something like 5. Uh, like, up till here should probably do. So, 7, and then let's duplicate this and um, have a minus 5. And oh, oh yeah, because it takes all of it, right. So minus one maybe should do, no, minus, minus what, minus 1.12, well, one two, did I say that? Uh, I'm dumb, minus 1.1, one. it's not good enough, minus 1.12. Uh, that's actually kind of there. I guess that's right then. Okay, and this one we could also uh, do it like a little bit on the X as well. Mm. Mm. I don't like it. Do you guys like it? Uh, let's actually... So if I do minus 5 here and now move it on the X a little bit, this will work, but then we'll have the problem with the other, with, uh, you know, doing it again. Uh, so no, let's let's keep it as it was, let's keep it a uh, straight stair, so that, that will do. And I'll show you exactly how we'll do it. Um, okay, so this will work. And uh, you can just add uh, one more here, and we'll add another one for this one as well. So basically the first array will also influence the second array. Um, so having this, uh, we can either just add another cylinder that would basically just, uh, you know, just be uh, straight right here and that would be it. Or we will do a small little cube, which is uh, my choice because I think that cube uh, makes a little more sense. We'll make like a, a Straight stair, uh, leather. Why am I keep saying stair? What's my problem? So S X S Y. We need this to be pretty thin as well. So we have we have it like this. And actually, that's a sitting there makes more sense. I'm trying to think, and it kind of does, doesn't it? Hmm. Well, I'm trying to think about it, and actually I don't have a perfect reference for this. All we have that is almost similar is uh, this right here, but that's actually basically what we did for the other one. Um, so not an actual reference here, just an idea of mine, and uh, actually, oh no, it's not, it's, it's not a ladder, it's not nothing like it. Um, Yeah, nothing like that. So, uh, you know what? Yeah, let's go with a cylinder again. This is, uh, well, I said cylinder and I made a circle. How about that? Uh, this is the video of the cylinder, I guess, because, you know, the cylinder really was the chosen one in this one. So, as that and just get it big enough. Is this big enough? Well, actually, way too big, if you ask me, so... Oh, uh, X-ray on, of course. And 
Now this should be here and will be here actually. But there is something we will do. Because again, we need to make this, again, it's not, you know, technically gonna be perfect or whatever, but it should look at least uh, okay. So first x-ray, because I need to see this a little better. Because this, I think, might be a little too big. Yeah, uh, let's scale them a little bit. And move it, move this in. James said like this, and this should do. And what we will do is actually, um, well, not use that, use this. Shift S, cursor to selected, and let's create, we can create a small cube here for this thing, right, right here. Uh, Gen X. Uh, gen, uh, actually we don't need the gen that do we because what we do have it's even better than that which is this the snapping tool the new way of moving things in blender which is uh, so much more convenient honestly I keep saying that and I keep forgetting to use it so you know take that with a grain of salt for me <laughs> I'm just used to uh, not doing that like uh, and that's a thing you know, I wonder if you guys have that thing as well, like when you get so used to do something in a certain way that even though there is a better way, you forget about it. Like you genuinely don't remember that you can do this. Um, I keep doing that. I keep having that problem. So let's, oh my God, this is going to be annoying. So um, is this on top? It's not. Where am I? I'm on the rooftop. Of course I'm on the rooftop. Ugh. And this is going to do. So you can also uh, be here and pay, uh, press on 2 to give you the perspective mode. So this will basically be, uh, you know, looking like a perfect 2D in a way, but it's not really the top thing. It's... Uh, a little worse, but will work for what we need. So something like this, it, it, this doesn't have to go crazy. This has to be just there, really. And this, and okay. And now uh, let's put this here. So what is R? Well are supposed to be anyway it's like uh you know something that will hold the data while you have to get on it um, again it's not the most technically accurate thing ever but uh, i do know that you know uh, they exist and they're used so i would say that works so chance that something like this so that it looks uh, like it's actually helpful. Almost like I do. Okay, so uh, now let's take this, let's mirror it on the Y by, the, by our steps. Because now I know they're called steps. Uh, and uh, this looks nice. Now let's take also this, let's mirror it as well on, um, by the steps. And apparently it's not working because I think the rotation is... No, no, the rotation is fine. The scale is fine. Oh, but I'm doing it on the X. Yeah, that that might be a small problem. Who knew? Actually, let's do it on the X as well. Now that I look at it, that actually looks good. And it makes also sense to hold it from uh, both parts. Okay, uh, this works. But also... We need to do something that will hold the, you know, the ladder up here as well, because, well, you know, you can't just let someone fall now, can you? Um, I don't know if you, uh, if we have any answer to what actually we should build up here, because again, um, I'm not an expert when it comes to uh, trains, but. Who needs an expert when you have imagination, right?
Well, I have none, so um, I think we need an expert. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, good, so we have this, and now what we shall do is go into x-ray mode, to, because I... This will be a little harder to work with because of the rooftop now. I could hide a rooftop, but for something so uh, really simple like this, I, I would just not do that. Uh, let's uh, activate the proportional editing, because I forgot to do that, and let's move these on the X. Kind of about, more or less, here should do. And now G and... Do we need more? And G and X. This looks like it's doing the job. It's also intersecting that. Uh, that's good. That's, that's, that's perfect. So, uh, scale, apply the scale, apply the rotation there. Perfect. And of course, we need to uh, mirror it. This time, we don't have to mirror it by the X, so just the steps. Okay. Look at this. This looks pretty good. And look at that looking pretty good. Uh, and with that, this is gonna be the end of this video. Um, I know it's a very long video, um, the longest so far. And uh, probably the next one will be more or less kind of the same. Because, again, these are gonna be the last two modeling videos. Uh, maybe we'll create some very small details on the way till the end. Uh, but up till then, uh, we'll actually move from modeling at uh, part 16. So 15 is the last one with modeling. 16 will actually be uh, probably uh, unwrapping. But I don't want to, you know, talk too fast. So uh, for now, we just stick to modeling uh, ending with. Um, that was definitely not English. Or it was, but it was, you know, the Yoda English. Which I'm okay with. So... Uh, this being said, thank you very much for sticking around for such a long video and for uh, watching this to begin with. Um, again, I know it's very long, so I'm not gonna drag this out. Uh, thank you very much. Please remember to leave a like, leave a comment, and uh, if you can, share this video and also subscribe to this channel, because I'm going to po post more really good stuff. And uh, other than that, uh, thank you so much, have a great day, have a great week, and have a great life altogether. And with that being said, I will see you tomorrow in the next video. Bye guys!